Auditions are upon us for the Rose Show's Search for a Star. We caught up with one of our judges, Tony Bristol from 92 Pro FM and Light Rock 105, to get some words of advice on what he'll be looking for at the auditions. I'm looking really at uh, someone's uh, ambition, someone's heart. You can tell when someone's heart is really into it. The top five contestants will go head-to-head -head in challenges showcasing their creativity, ability to produce a story, and interviewing skills. Time for some weird news now. And here's a meal that'll break your diet. A bacon cheeseburger donut. That's the newest goodie at the Big E in West Springfield, Massachusetts. It's called the Craze E Burger, which is a bacon cheeseburger between the halves of a honey glazed donut. Don't tell Melissa Rector from Gold's Gym. The treat packs 1,500 calories. Moving on now, today in the road home, it's a Rhode Island tradition, 33 years in the making. Trinity Reps, A Christmas Carol, has become a planned holiday event for so many families. And for over the last six years, over 1,200 children under the age of 13 have auditioned to become part of the show. And once again, the auditions will take place at Cardi's Furniture Superstores in South Attleboro. All the information can be found by going to foxprovidence.com. Welcome back to The Road Show. Joining me today is Art Spencer from Like Rock 105. Thanks so much for joining us today, Art. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Art, tomorrow is the Gloria Gemma uh, water fire. Flames of Hope mm -hmm. in Providence. Can you tell me a little bit about Light Rock 105's involvement in this event? Our involvement is that we will be hosting a block party, a family okay. block party, uh, from noon till 4 at Station okay. Park. Okay. And uh, that's for family to people to come on out and see us and see what's going on down there and food, games, and, and a really nice afternoon. Great. Yeah. Well, the Gloria Gemma Foundation is a wonderful charity, but as a personality, you must have some charities that are near and dear to your heart. Could you tell us about a few? Sure. Um, I co-host the Special Olympics oh, auction every year. Excellent. Right? And um, also in the Hasbro Children's Hospital Radiothon. Um, that's something I, that's near and dear to my heart as well. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that has personally meant to you to be able to be a part of that Radiothon? Uh, out of that, I've become a volunteer at the hospital. Have you? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, absolutely so. wonderful. Those stories are so touching. and. Uh, you know, you hear those on the radio and you just, it just draws you in, you have to listen. Now, as a radio personality, I'm sure you not only do a lot of uh, personal appearances at fundraisers, but you must also have to go to promotional events as well. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, funny happen to you or something like kind of crazy at one of these fundraisers? Or do you have a most memorable moment at one of these promotional events? Crazy doesn't usually follow me around. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you look um, like a crazy guy to me. No, no. <laughs> um, no, but um, no. I mean, nothing, nothing really memorable. I nothing mean, memorable. they're all nice events, and they're all nice. You know, the nice opportunity to talk to people, Wonderful. Who call and listen. You know. Great. Um, speaking of your callers, any of the callers stand out to you? Because sometimes I'm driving at night and I'm listening to some of these callers and. Uh, some just have these beautiful, beautiful stories, and then some have a few have some stories that may be a little, um, just a little different. And any of those stand out to you? Not really, because there's so many of them. So yeah, 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 and you've been doing this for so long. Well, um, anything else that you can tell us about yourself? Do you have any animals or uh, any uh, any? I wish uh, I had a dog. You wish I, you had a dog. Yeah, I, I live in a place that's not dog friendly, but. Uh, <laughs> I have a friend who has a dog, and I take care of her, take care of her dog, and I, I like that. That's great. Well, so. I was reading on your uh, Light Rock 105 um, website that mm -hmm. most of your uh, co your personalities that are also on the station are really into uh, their dogs, like Heather and David, and so I was just wondering if you were part of that group too. So. No, no. I, I think maybe later on in life I'll maybe I'll, later I'll on in pet. life. Yeah, but I but I'm I pretty much connect pretty well with pets anyway. You know, well, you know, I absolutely you know. love your show. The music is Thank just you. so soothing, and you do such a wonderful job relating to people, and it's just a thrill for me to be here interviewing you today. So thank you for coming down. Thank you. Back to you, Elizabeth.